Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on this cartoon zombie. I'm sure you've seen a few of these on the internet already, but I got a few requests for it and wanted to put my own spin on the kind of traditional cartoon zombie that you're probably used to seeing. So the first thing I wanted to do was take a white eyeliner pen and kind of map out the areas that I didn't want to paint blue. It's really hard to paint over lighter colors over a darker body paint. So I went ahead and mapped out the eyeball that is going to be poking out of the socket. And and then I'm also outlining the cut on my forehead that is going to be spilling pink gooey cartoon blood. Since I'm going to be doing a half mask face kind of deal, I decided to just draw a line down the center of my face using a white eyeliner pen so that I didn't go too crazy and get blue in places that it shouldn't be. So I drew a white line and then I started applying some of this kind of aqua blue body paint and then I realized, hold up girl, I gotta still do the teeth, I gotta do the thing, the eye thing, and I was just like, okay, I need to wait on this and do some of the other things first. So you can see me contemplating there for a minute and then I I decided to wipe away where I'm going to be doing the teeth and then I started adding some details first. So here I'm going to be adding some really big chunky white block teeth and I'm just using a little concealer brush to apply this white body paint and I'm just going to be applying this right to kind of my natural lip line so that the opening of my mouth kind of blends with the opening of the other side of the mouth. I didn't want it to be like too oversized to where if I opened my mouth on one side it looked weird on another. So I just kind of did the teeth that way and then I'm outlining the eyeball right here and then filling that in with white as well. So now what I'm gonna do is trace around each tooth with some pink body paint. This is just kind of a bubblegum pink color. I just wanted to have something to kind of replicate what gums would look like. So I am just tracing around each tooth and then kind of pulling it downwards to add a little bit of separation between each tooth as well. So I was kind of all over the place putting this on. You'll have to bear with me. I was just like, okay, what can I do now? So it was kind of just not really any rhyme or reason to what I was doing. So now I'm just adding um, some blue back to the spaces that don't have anything mapped out to be drawn on in another color and I didn't completely fill it in because there were going to be other details that I wanted to add so um, I kind of filled in some and then filled in some a little bit later as well so if you're wondering why I didn't fill in my entire face that's why <laughs> so now I'm going to be outlining my eyebrow in black a lot of the pictures that I had seen of cartoon zombies had done this and I really liked the way that it looked so I went ahead and stayed true to that. And then now I'm going to be outlining the mouth on this side with black. So I just applied the initial outline and then I'm going to be thickening it up in areas that need to be. So kind of the edge of the mouth where the lip would kind of curl over. I made that a little bit darker and thicker and just kind of, you know, went with what looked good. And then I'm going to be outlining a few other things. So I outlined the eyeball and now what I'm going to be doing is outlining the little gooey patch where the eyeball is going to be springing out of. <laughs> so this right here is going to be the little vein that is connected the eyeball to the eye socket that it's popping out of. So I'm bringing that vein onto the eyeball so you can see the connection point and then I'm just going to be shading right below that to give it a little bit of depth and then I'm going to be taking this black body paint and filling in this entire little crazy gooey shape right here with some black body paint but I'm not going to be filling over where that vein outline is because I'm going to be adding some pink to that. Once that's all filled in, I'm then going to be going around the teeth and really defining the shape of them and then deciding where I want the black space to be. So as you can see, these are all kind of different shapes. Some are bigger, some are smaller. I really wanted them to be a very irregular pattern since it's a zombie. You know, obviously zombies would not have perfect teeth. <laughs> so I'm going to be shading a little bit around those and then anywhere the outline is not, I'm going to be filling it in with black and dragging that down onto the gums a little bit just so that you can kind of further separate those teeth out. 
Once that's done, I'm going to be adding some cracks into the zombie teeth to just make them look a little bit more, I don't know, weathered and gross and decaying. So I'm just adding tiny little black lines onto the teeth there and some cracks and dents and stuff like that. And then I'm going to be adding on a green iris to the eyeball. So I just took some lime green body paint and created a circle and then some darker green body paint and created kind of the different little pulls of the iris. And then once that's done, I'm going to be adding on the pupil. After the pupil is filled in, I'm going to take some bubblegum pink body paint and I'm going to fill in the little vein or tendon, I guess, that is attaching the eyeball to the eye socket. <laughs> so beautiful sounding, right? So anyway, I just took a really thick layer of pink body paint because I had to cover up some other color, so you definitely need to do like two layers of that. And then I'm filling in the eyebrow with green. And then taking that same kind of bubblegum pink body paint that I used for the gums and the little eye tendon, I'm filling this in and this is going to represent some pink gooey zombie blood. After that, I'm gonna take some black body paint on a eyeliner brush and create the wound or gash that this pink blood is spilling out of. So I'm just adding that there and then I'm going to be outlining the blood with black to kind of give it more of a cartoon effect. Then I decided the eyeball needed a little bit of blood too, so I just kind of repeated the same process and made it look like, you know, just kind of your average cartoon dripping whatever, whether it be goo or blood, um, just kind of really exaggerated drips. And I'm just going to be filling that in. I used a slightly darker pink than I had been using. It's more of a magenta color. It was way easier to cover this over the turquoise than the pink would have been. And then I'm just going to be outlining this in black as well. So now it's time to add a little bit more detail. I'm taking white body paint and adding, you know, just kind of little shine marks to again make this pop and feel a little bit more like art and a little less gory. And this marks the spot in the tutorial where I got way too detail oriented and went a little crazy. So I was adding these little brackets to make it look like both of my you know, faces were connected by something. You totally don't need to do this. I got like so tired by <laughs> the end of this. At this point, I literally had been painting on my face for three hours. So I decided to call it quits after that and stop adding detail. So on this other side, I went very basic with just a black lip, a little beauty mark, a winged liner and then I just did some mascara and added a lash on the side and called it good so this is the final result oh my gosh you guys this might be one of my favorite looks that I have done so far I was really obsessed with the way this came out so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial too thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow